This is a tiny robot that weighs less than a gram. It mimics how a bee moves and even sounds. It was made by these guys at MIT's Micro Robotics Lab. Inspired by nature, our team developed micro-scale robots that can hop or like fly into very tiny spaces. These bots come in many forms and could one day have a big impact. Their size means they can explore areas where larger robots and humans can't. So in to get the right potential energy. PhD student Nemo Shell writes the computer algorithms that tell them how to move. The thing that we try to mimic the bumblebee is really the flapping mechanism. The really interesting thing about this robot is it's being actuated by a soft artificial muscle. The muscles are those like black cylinders and it will just elongate and contract, basically flap the wing. It flaps its wings up to 400 times a second and it can even flip. Let's slow that down. But getting insect-scale robots to fly is hard work. The internal mechanisms are tiny, a similar size to watch components. They're all made in-house by PhD student Su Han Kim. I usually introduce myself as a robot maker in our lab. Suhan says he can make up to 10 of these in a week, but there's no room for error. Sometimes, like even like 10 microns of error can make the whole mechanics completely different. So we have to be very careful in aligning and in designing and in fabricating uh, each row of parts. The wings are laser cut with the accuracy of one tenth of a human hair. It's actually all done, so let me just take out the wing. Assembly requires a steady hand. That's great. Let's try to rotate it a little bit. If you watch your hand motion under the scope, you will see a lot of shaking. So you'll have to be very, very delicate. The team is led by associate professor Kevin Chen, who's been developing small bots for 15 years. He says the next step is to install batteries and sensors so their tech can one day fly autonomously. It's very difficult to put on a small energy source on board of those tiny robots. The amount of energy that the insects can store in their muscles is somewhere between 30 to 100 times better than what we can store in a battery. And that is really a big gap. Back in the flight room, Nemo is working on the jumping robot that can hop on all terrains. Oh, that works. We solved the bug. He hopes their tech can be used in the real world in the next 15 years, from search and rescue to artificial pollination. But for Nemo, his goal is simple. We would love to build a better world if our, what we are working on here will one day help people like, to reduce some of the risk in their workplace, to help them carry out tasks that are dangerous to human beings then I think uh, that's like the whole purpose of what we are doing here.